GPT-5 is officially out and the reviews are really mixed. According to OpenAI, this new model is supposed to be a lot faster and smarter than the previous ones with major upgrades to its math, science, and most importantly, what I care about, its coding and design capabilities. So today, I wanna see how good it is at building apps compared to Replit and Lovable, and also see how it compares to the previous models like 4.0. So without further ado, let's start testing this thing. So to kick things off here, I have GPT-5 pulled up as well as 4.0. And I want to feed it the same exact prompt to build an app and just see how they compare. And I want to check out the speed as well as the type of code it writes, the length of the code, as well as like the graphics and how this app actually turns out. So the first app that I want to ask it to build is a flight simulator. And I think this is interesting because we'll really get to see the graphics that it produces. So I'm gonna feed this prompt into both models here. And the prompt is, can you build me a flight simulator game? I want it to be a very basic game controlled with the space bar for acceleration and the up, down, right, left arrows for steering. And let's also go ahead and time this to compare the speed of both of these models. So I have my timer pulled up here and let's go ahead and click send on both of these and timer started all right so you can see the code or 40 is done we are at about 10 seconds here and 40 is completely done so it just did this extremely quickly and five is just getting started so it was thinking for 18 seconds here. And now it's writing what looks to be a lot more sophisticated code. So it's thinking a lot harder. And that's one of the big upgrades with this model. So this model is supposed to be basically all inclusive so that when you feed it a prompt, it's automatically gonna decide if it should use one of the older models or a model that's basically doesn't need as much thinking power or if it should use a much more advanced model that needs a ton of thinking to maybe write an application or come up with a very complex explanation of something. So as you can see, there is a massive difference in this. So we are well over a minute now and GPT-5 is still going. We are at almost 326 lines of code here. Now. GPT-5 automatically gives us the option to run the code here. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this and I'm gonna use the acceleration. Okay, hold, there we go. Oh, I think I blew it off the screen. Here we go. This is, <laughs> this is actually pretty good. Okay, I'm impressed. Wow, and I can crash it. Oh, there we go. Now there's like a bug there with that obstacle, but this is very impressive for, it was about two minutes all in to actually generate this. There's clearly like a bug here, but that's impressive. Now I'm going to stop this. I'm gonna ask 4.0 to deploy this directly here. Okay, so it looks like GPT 4.0 is not going to run this code for me. So what it told me to do is basically either use Replit, which is funny, or use something like VS Code. So I have VS Code pulled up here. I'm going to copy the code it gave me and I'll go ahead and paste it in here. Next, it told me to paste the code in, save as this. Okay, <laughs> that took way too much effort to run this, but now we have it and this is the game that it gave us. So now if we do a side-by-side -side comparison, we have 4.0 here and we have five here. So this is what we got from 4.0 and this is what we got from five. I think we can say there's a pretty big difference here, especially like this whole control panel here. It gives us the controls right here. And this is just literally a blank screen and it wouldn't run the code for us. So that's five versus 4.0. I think five is the clear winner here, but I wanna see how it tests versus Replit and Lovable, which are arguably the most well-known AI app builders for non-techie vibe coders like me. So now we have GBT5, we have Replit, and we have Lovable pulled up. Let's go ahead and drop in that same exact prompt for the 
Flight Simulator. Can you build me a Flight Simulator game? I want it to be very basic, controlled with the space bar for acceleration and the up, down, right, left arrows for steering. Let's go ahead and hit send on all of these. And let's go ahead and start our timer. And I think the interesting thing here is Lovable is basically advertising that it's using GPT-5 in the back end. So you're actually getting access to GPT-5 with these other applications, but it's not directly from the source. You're basically using their user interface. As you can see, Lovable and Replit have much more of like a thinking process of like, okay, let's come up with a plan. Let's think about all of the design elements. GBT5 just sort of <laughs> goes at it and starts coding. I also want to talk about one of the other major differences between these tools. So like we just saw with GPT-5 or basically using OpenAI, you can actually run the code uh, through the window, through the user interface there, but you can't deploy it through OpenAI. So basically what this means is once we have the code, we can then take it to like a Vercel or somewhere that can actually deploy it and host that application. Whereas with Replit and with Lovable, you're basically able to deploy it all within one solution. So you can say, hey, I like my app. Now release it to the world so other people can use it all within that application. Whereas GPT can basically just write the code, show you a preview of it, but then you have to figure out how to deploy it yourself. Okay, so... Lovable, it looks like it's done here. Actually, Replit just finished up, so we are at two minutes. So they all sort of finished within the same amount of time. So it looks like GPT-5 is done, Replit is done, and so is Lovable. So they're all pretty much the same when we look at the time. I'm gonna pull up the preview of Lovable, and I'm going to go ahead and run this code. So. It's funny, it actually gave us a completely different and design here when we asked GPT-5 for the second time. I'm gonna go ahead and see if GPT-5 works. So let's go ahead and crash, press R to restart. Okay, so it starts me flying. And when I press spacebar, and sorry, I misspoke, Replit is still working. So it just finished up now. Now it says agent is ready and we are about two minutes and 50 seconds in. I lost the plane on GPT-5. I have no idea where this thing is anymore. Let's go ahead and press reset and there it is, but it's just gone, which this now says the speed, all angle, everything's just like completely off the board. So maybe some points away for that. Let's go ahead and look at what Replit build us and see if this works. So I'm gonna press space bar and okay. I don't like that the camera is basically like pointing where it's going. It should be the other way. Like, <laughs> it's like we have the camera on the front of the plane, but this is usable. And I think it's actually better than GPT-5 because GPT-5 built us a 2D game, right? It looks like a Super Mario game right there. It's only 2D where this is 3D, which is more impressive. So obviously I'm probably gonna go back if I were to actually build this out and say like, hey, change the point of view, change a few different things. It doesn't seem like it wants to take off much. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, but yeah, the controls seem a little bit off there. Now let's pull up Lovable and see how this goes. Okay, so flight control space and steering. So, okay. This also seems like it's 2D, it's not 3D. So I would say Replit actually takes the cake on that because I'm pressing throttle and nothing is happening. It's just going. So I don't think throttle actually works. It almost looks like I'm a fish, like going through a pond. The arrows work, but the throttle just doesn't mean anything. Okay, that's interesting. So honestly, I probably give that one to Replit. Okay, so now that we built a game with all three, I wanna try building a much simpler web application. And I'm thinking a calculator because at its core, <laughs> these application builders or these vibe coding tools should be able to build a basic calculator, but I wanna see how all of them do it. So I came up with an idea for a Chipotle burrito calculator. So basically the user can input any amount that they want. So let's say $100 and the calculator should spit out exactly how many Chipotle burritos they could buy with that amount. So I'm gonna paste the same exact prompt in all of the text bars. 
So here's the prompt. Create me a Chipotle burrito calculator. Assume a Chipotle burrito cost $10.70. When a user inputs a dollar amount, the calculator should tell them how many Chipotle burritos they could get with it. So let's go ahead and hit send on all of these. And start our timer. All right, so GBT5 went right into it. So GBT5 was literally 10 seconds there. And it looks like uh, the other ones are coming up with their plan. So I'm going to go ahead and approve plan on Replit so we can start building. However, GPT-5 is not giving me the option to run this within the app. Can you run the code here for me? Guessing it's going to say no. Okay. So because it's HTML, it wants me to download it and deploy it myself. Looks like Replit reviewing your messages. So it's still working, but it's got something drafted up here pretty quickly. Let's go ahead and look at Lovable. So it looks like Lovable is still spinning it up. We're at a minute and Replit and Lovable are still working. While we're waiting, I'm going to go ahead and pull up VS Code again. And I'm going to copy this code, throw it in there. All right, so that's the sound from Lovable. I think that it just finished up. Let's see. Okay, so we're at a minute and 50 seconds. Lovable just finished up. It actually generated a 3D picture of a burrito. It kind of looks like raw tuna in there. That's interesting. Maybe that's tomato. Replit is still working. And this is the Chipotle burrito calculator that ChatGPT built. And I just had to deploy it myself, which is a bummer but it did finish this. And I actually kind of like to look at this. I know it's super basic, but I feel like every AI app built now has like the same exact letters. Uh, all of these AI apps are starting to sort of look like each other. So that's why I actually kind of like this better because it's super basic HTML and doesn't look like it was vibe coded by one of these AI apps. Now, Replit is still working. We're at the 320 mark. Replit just finished up. It is three minutes and about 35 seconds that it is done. So speed wise, GBT5 is the fastest followed by Lovable and Replit in last place. Now let's go ahead and say a hundred dollars. Let's see how many burritos you get nine burritos and we'll have $3 and 70 cents left over. I like the GBT5 and like how basic it is. Now I wish it could actually like deploy it and you could preview it in the text editor there, but I actually like it the most. So you can get nine burritos total cost change left. This is kind of nice that it shows that shows you the calculations and oh, it also added this feature, which is like quick amounts. So do you want to see like how much for 100, how much for 200? That is pretty cool. Um, enter your budget. Let's go ahead and put 100. Okay. So Chipotle burritos, nine burritos and $3 and 70 cents left over. You could feed up to nine people. That's interesting. And it also added fun fact. You could eat a burrito a day for nine days. That's interesting that it added that. I don't hate that. It's just interesting. Let's see if I say 150 now, 14 burritos. Okay. It changed the fun fact. That's enough burritos to host a party. Okay. So let's look at a few different things here. So in terms of design, I know these are, you know, Replit and Lovable are supposed to be a little bit fancier in their design here, but I actually love the basic HTML from GPT-5. I give GPT-5 the winner on that, even though these are like a little more intricate. I think that Replit added like the best feature. So like adding quick amounts, calculation details, change left over. I think that Replit like went above and beyond what the other ones did. So in terms of like feature rich, I think Replit definitely wins there. And then Lovable added like these silly little things. I don't think that like there's a massive clear winner here, but the nice thing about Lovable and Replit is you could obviously deploy these directly now, right? So you could literally buy a domain on Replit and then deploy this to like chipotleburritos.com right now. With GPT-5, I did have to download the file, open it on my own browser, and that was kind of a pain. So I wanna know what you guys think about GPT-5 and how it compares to some of these app builders. Will we see OpenAI directly integrate something like Replit or Lovable into their chat GPT interface and basically do exactly what Replit and Lovable do within chat GPT? They have the most users, they have the most distribution. It seems like if 
all of these app builders are basically using their API and their AI in the background. It's something that OpenAI might do in the future. But let me know which one you think is the best in the comments, whether you think Replit and Lovable are still light years away, which design you liked. I wanna know what you think of GPT-5. Leave it in the comments. And as always, I appreciate you and peace.